Hey everybody, what's up? We are back with episode four of Reacting to the Old Skits. Uh, the last episode, I think, by far has been my favorite so far. I was I was really pleased with the videos that we covered last time. So if you didn't see episode three of this, I would go back and watch it because I think, at least to this point in the series, those were the five, six best videos I've made. I think I think all of them were were really good. I had a really good time with them. Uh, so we're gonna pick up on the J Station video. And there's some interesting stuff coming up here as well. This is around the time of the Content Creator Awards. So there's a couple of things uh, associated with that that we'll talk about. And then it looks like this is also around the time I moved back to Memphis. We're, we're creeping up on the time that I moved back to Memphis. And I was making some pretty interesting stuff there as well. So, um, yeah. Now, this J Station video, uh, we're not going to watch the whole thing. It's a pretty long video, but I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it. If you don't know who J Station is, um, consider yourself fortunate. He is. He's just one of the like worst people on YouTube of all time. He makes a lot of those like don't do this at 3 a.m. videos, and he's clearly making videos for kids. But also trying to come across like he's not making videos for kids. He's really deceitful and shady and shitty and he lies and he's he just sucks, man. He just really seems like he sucks. He's he's a real shit dude. Um and I just wanted to make fun of him. <laughs> so I did a <clears throat> if J Station makes Raid Shadow Legends videos and uh I think it was pretty good. The challenge in it was editing it trying to edit it like a J Station video because his videos are so busy. Sound effects and graphics and camera movement and switches and like, because again, he's making content for kids and, and he's trying to keep their attention constantly. So there's always something going on. So the challenge was editing it like that. Um, but you'll, I mean, you'll see <clears throat> the type of energy we're talking about. What's poppin', you guys? We're back with another banger 3 a.m. challenge. There has been so- Also, the way he talks is awful. I I just don't like him. There's not much I like about him. <laughs> Many glitches with video games over the years. PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, mobile games. There is this brand new glitch, guys, that has been rumored to been going on at 3 a.m. when you're playing Raid Shadow Legends, guys. I'll say, too, the challenging part of this was having to actually go watch J Station to figure out how, like, what parts of him I wanted to try to emulate and Again, learn the editing style. That was pretty challenging too to actually like sit through J Station because you get a little bit of him in the commentary videos about him because a lot of other YouTubers make videos about him because he sucks um, and he's and he's big so it is good for clicks but also he sucks and he's easy to, he's an easy target <clears throat> so you get a little bit of him in that regard but in order to make a video in the style of J Station I had to go watch J Station videos and. Man, that was rough. Not much is known about this glitch, guys, but apparently if you play Raid at 3 a.m. completely alone in the pitch <clears> black, <throat> guys, terrifying things will happen to you, guys. Tonight, we are finding out exactly what happens when you play Raid at 3 a.m., guys. Let's smash the like button right now. Let's get this video to 40,000 likes, guys. Apparently, this glitch is very dangerous and paranormal, guys. But we're doing it for J Nation, guys. So be sure and smash that subscribe button. What's great, how I know I did it well, is that it's hard to watch. We got more bangers coming all month, guys. But guys, I am too <clears throat> scared to do this alone. So I brought my boy Ahmed Mo with me to do this glitch with me, bro. Ahmed, oh, his stupid friend. Station, when I was a kid, technology was super scary. I was one time just playing my phone, and then I heard some whispers, and a, fi and a ghost finger blasted me in my O ring. And now I'm super scared. Tonight's gonna be crazy scary. I think something might come out of the TV and get me, or maybe I'm gonna get possessed. I don't know, but it's gonna be super scary. That's anyway, boy, that's enough of that. You get the idea. If you want to see the whole video, you can <laughs> watch it. Um, but yeah, I just I just basically make fun of a J Station video for eight minutes, and it. It was it was it was well done, which again is going to make it a tough watch, but it's also I tried to make it funny too. So anyway, uh, this next one. So this is the DJ RNG freestyle that I did for the content creator awards, and <clears throat> the story behind this one is Saffron hit me up before the content creator show, and he was like, "Hey, um, I would love to have a DJ RNG thing." 
I think it initially hit me up. He was like, I'd love to have you do something for the content creator awards. And I was like, all right, what do you have in mind? And he was like, I was thinking DJ RNG. <clears throat> and we kind of talked about it and it was kind of like a, you know, do your thing. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll see what I can come up with and I'll get back to you. And I wasn't really in a spot where I, I could get much writing done. I, I have to be in a very particular place to write, which is why there hasn't been more DJ RNG. I, I just haven't been. I, I feel like I may be getting back around to it. I've been starting to listen to a lot of beats and stuff. But anyway, I was kind of struggling to write anything DJ RNG related. So instead, I made a, a skit. I made a like a Plarium Talks to the Players kind of skit themed around the Content Creator Awards. And I, I sent it over to him. And he was like, I like this, but I really had my heart set on something DJ RNG. And at this point now, we were a day or two out from the content creator awards <clears throat> or maybe a little bit more, but like it was really close at this point. And, uh, I was like, Oh, well <laughs> shit. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm just going to have to see what I can come up with. So I put on my, my DJ RNG stuff and I thought, you know, uh, I, I'll do a freestyle. I'll just do like a freestyle. So I, I started looking up a few freestyles to so, sort of get what kind of vibe I wanted. And, 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 and watch the one where Eminem's in the parking garage again. And I was like, OK, I'll I'll recreate this. I'll try to mimic this. So this is. This is a freestyle. This is an off the top freestyle. Um, now, it's not meant to be good. <laughs> to be very clear, um, <clears throat> it's meant to be stupid, but this sparked also. Uh, a lot of fun stuff. This Dar this is the one that Darth responded to, and then this is the one that that kind of created that that brief fake rat beef thing that Darth and I did against each other. That maybe I'll switch over to the playlist and we'll go talk about that. Because the thing about <clears throat> that is there's no DJ RNG aside from this. I think on my comedy playlist, uh, DJ RNG has a separate playlist, um, which is why we haven't seen any of, of him yet. <clears throat> so. Yeah, this this was like it's crunch time. I have to get something made quickly. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm just going to turn on the camera and act stupid. Try to try to get something out and, and see what we can come up with. And this is this is what we ended up with. So it's the calm before the storm right here. Wait, how was I going to start this thing off again? And if you've seen Eminem's freestyle in the parking garage, that's exactly how it starts. I forgot. Oh yeah, that's an awfully hot coffee <clears throat> pot. Should you drop some dollars, cop and charge the pot? Probably not. But you want to reach the top, you should probably stop. And that's what I would do. I would I would step onto the camera, do a line, walk off because that's what he doesn't doesn't his. I would walk off, think of something else to come back and say, come back and say it, walk off, and and this this two minute and thirty four second video took me quite a bit longer to to do, but. They failed to plan it like a bandit landed empty handed in our universe and Pluto vanished. And that reminds me times rewinding to back in June with the stars aligning to the left side of the line. It's high time that you get one star out of five and <clears throat> the old CEO had to get to packing because investors came around with questions asking why the score in the app store was a whole star lacking. He had to tell him it was that rascal Darth micro transaction. And she put, ah, <clears throat> I'm gonna stop. It's pretty good run. And he, what's so silly to me is that's giving props to Darth. That bar is giving props to Darth. And he, for whatever reason, I guess just because I said his name, <laughs> turned it into a beef, which is so stupid. But it was fun. Now you feel your mercy. And I say so stupid, like I know he was doing it to be stupid. I get it. I'm not saying that like, I'm not saying like, oh, he misunderstood. I know what he was doing, but it's all done. See me or say a little prayer to R and Jesus. Like you pretend like you don't know DJ R and G's it. Maybe you need to see it to believe it. I'll keep it easy. Hit up chosen. Ask him where we got his man eater. <laughs> Look, I'm being silly and stuff, but there's some good bars in here, especially for the fact that I just came up with them on the spot. There's some good bars in here, dude. I go back to the old days like Cleopatra. 
Don't mind the propaganda and drag your cantra to the magma dragon. I know the fandom loves it random, so I'm gonna keep it up like I'm on Viagra. Free to play, yeah, I bet you are. That's fine, because if you ain't spending, you ain't getting far. Especially in arena where all the veterans are. Platinum's full of boosters like a Jetson's car. <laughs> <laughs> <And now I'm> <laughs> I remember being so proud of that line. I know what you're thinking. Oh, no, they got to me. I know I should hate them, but the new content stopping me. Full of boosters like a Jetson's car is a fucking bar, dude. That's so good. Foley's in the background like, oh, no, they've forgotten me. <clears throat> You're so used to updates flopping, but the Doom Tower's got you changing your mind like a botch lobotomy. That's also a good bar. Damn, I it's forgot. Bad, this was though, good. Like a plaid coat. When the game's still a tad broke and you dropping mad dough like a speed pack pro just to get a bad roll. And now you pissed off like a dad joke. And then you go to the carnival and get a corn dog and you're a horn dog. <laughs> this was the end where I was just out of shit to say it. I was like, all right, now I'm just going to get as stupid as I can get. And it's torn dog. Don't be watching porn dog. Or your pastor's going to have to mourn dog. Watching SNL, that's lawn dog. <laughs> I also didn't plan any of this. Like like I said, I step off camera and, and would come up with something, come back and do it. Here, I didn't do that. I just, whatever came into my head, I said it. Intentionally trying to be as stupid as possible. <clears throat> if you just cut your sheep's hair, they've been shorn, dog. <laughs> Ray 2020, that's what it is, dog. Look, all jokes aside, there's some fucking bars in there, dude. I, I, I forgot. I kind of popped off on that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's good shit uh, all right this is the skit that i made this is the skit that i was talking about that i made for him originally and then he's like i really had my heart set on R dj rng so then i just uploaded this um after after who the award you, show who are you slow clapping what is that well i forgot 2020's been quite a ride, and it's been no different here at Plarium. We've gone through the same things you've gone through. We've had our own frustrations. We've had to quarantine. We've been through it all here. Probably much worse than any of you have experienced, actually. Cut. Don't say that. It's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. just don't say it. Having to listen to them all year. Mm -hmm. No, I can say that. I There's just the lapel it. mic. I knew we got a lapel mic at some point. We here at Plarium know you had a much worse year than we did. Is that better? Cut. Yeah, cut it. I don't care. 2020's been an equally hard year for every single person. Everyone's had exactly the same 2020. We've had a lot to overcome. Dracogate, server maintenance, slow updates. We've been through it all. Hell, we even got a new CEO this year. Stop the count! Stop the count! But we were determined to end 2020 on a different note. We got the Doom Tower out. It didn't break the game. We nerfed Faction Wars. We've got new champions and... Feels like Doom Tower's been here longer than that, huh? <clears throat> I mean, this says three years ago. 2020 was obviously four years ago, but... Still. Accessories and artifacts, tons of new content on the way, and a lot of new content creators on the rise, which we're particularly excited about, because we here at Plarium love our content creators. So much so that I, me exclusively, no one else decided to have the Raid 2020 Content Creator Awards Ceremony. Oh, and that I, was Saffron Man. Yeah, but they don't know that. Yeah, well, they do. So we'll give a thank you to Saffron. You know, I just can't do it. They don't know. They do, though, and Hell Hades is also involved. Yeah. Yeah, think Darth, but Hell Hades. That's a good point. The quarantine this year has <laughs> been wild, but being stuck in the house... I'm learning all kinds of stuff. You heard of these Brillo pads? You familiar with these? Yeah. They'll clean anything. They're amazing. I'm not sure what they're made of, though. Is it still wool? I don't think it was ever wool. What? Huh? That's why we want to say how much... <laughs> That's just a joke that I thought of when I was using a Brillo pad. <clears throat> and I thought, you know what? I'm going to figure out how to work that into a video. And there it is. <laughs> You're welcome. We appreciate Saffron Man and Hell Hades for getting together and hosting the awards. I don't care about this. Do you understand how much I don't care? This is ridiculous. 
So we want to say thank you to Saffron Man and Hell Hades for Cut. hosting me. Dude, what do you want from me? You always want me to come up here and be fake. I just want to be real. <laughs> I like quarantine. I don't care. Who's outside? I want to see. You know what's outside? Bears. Yeah, you didn't know that. I definitely knew that. You didn't know that. You, you seen that that Layla Fox Nation streamer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's up for co costume of the year. You didn't know that. that Madam Saris. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> He doesn't win that. I think I'm going to bring the old CEO back. It's just masterful. It's just, we've been doing, Doom Tower was a hit. Faction Wars is nerfed. We've got new champions, Fusion. They just, they think. They think everything's getting better. They think everything's getting better. They have no idea. You can cut all this out, right? Yeah. They have no idea what 2021 has in store for them. No idea. We fully expect the world to open back up in 2021. <coughs> and when you go out into the world, it's important that you feel comfortable and confident in your ability to defend yourself. And that's why we're going to bring in Pamela. Uh, tell them the other thing. God, Sorry. I did this. That's why we're going to bring in Steel Skin Dragon Slayer of Poontang to give you a few <coughs> quick tips on how to defend yourself this. in 2021. So you don't want to be a little sissy in 2021 when you came to the right man. Pamela, checking in. Tip number one, always have a sword. Nobody's attacking the guy with a sword. <laughs> number two, always have a mouthful of spit ready for the eyes or mouth of the assailant. Tip number three, always need to poop. Don't leave the house unless you need to poop. Think about it. If you attack someone and they start yelling, oh no, oh no, I'm pooping, are you gonna keep attacking them? No, especially when you realize there's real poop. When there's real life poop involved, the fight's over. Quickest way to get out of a scuffle. And that's it. That's literally all you need to know for 2021 to be safe. Pam. Have a sword, have a mouthful of spit, need to poop. What out. So everybody should feel pretty comfortable now about, right? Is that, should I just say that? In closing, we want to say how much we appreciate you sticking with us through 2020, even though you didn't vote for us in the User's Choice Awards last year, which I haven't forgotten. Why do I have to get up here and act like I don't remember that? You took cut. the Void Shard. Don't cut me. You took the Void Shard and then didn't vote for us. What is that, <clears throat> you bunch of snakes? I hope y'all pulled a Harrier. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I originally made for the uh, Content Creator Awards. And I think I tried to like work as much into it as I could. That was pretty decent. All right, this next one. I thought this what was going to perform way better. What your favorite raid champ says about you. Uh, I, th I thought this was going to do way better. Says about you. Part one. It's just a silly. You wipe standing up. Video. I think I should have said the champ's names too, though. You wear Velcro shoes. But this is it. We just we you go say like way too much we go through each legendary and i just assign a random attribute you ask, to how much is the water you know, at restaurants just a silly little idea that i thought was going to have more widespread appeal but uh, it didn't quite take off and it's called part one and it, there might only be a part one i think it didn't do i think it didn't do good enough for me to feel like it justified getting <clears throat> another um another episode but again just a silly little idea we'll skip that though so okay so this one, what it's like talking to Player M about the CVC issue. This is where one of my, I think, most popular memes in my community comes from. If I'm not mistaken, it was this video. And to this day, I still get comments about the meme that this video created. So I'll talk about it when we get there. But problem. Uh, the floor and this is back. I'm back in Memphis at this point. Which was this my first skit? Back in Memphis? I can't remember. The... I can't remember. I think I was still in New York when I did that, that DJ RNG thing. What your favorite Raid Shadow Legends champ says about you, I don't remember. But this, this may have been my first skit back in Memphis. Wet. So interesting. And nobody wants the floor to be wet. So... Uh, we were wondering if you could come in and just... Also, to give you an idea of what I mean about this video, like people liking this, there, there being something that people like in this video, it has 3,100 views and 510 likes. So 
usually if you're a I, I tend to be around a 10% like ratio. That that tends to be good. So anything that, that surpasses a 10% like ratio is like above the average. And this one isn't too too terribly far off. Uh, about 100, what, 110 more likes or so from being 20%. So like it's it's well over the 10% threshold. There's People really like this. Dry it up. Just dry the floor up or um, some aid us somehow. We just have to get the floor dry because it's, not a good idea to have the floor wet all the time. I hear what you're saying. You're saying there's a problem with the floor being wet. Okay. Um, what we've done is we've we've just poured water on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's that's the problem, is that the floor's wet and you guys poured you poured the water on the floor in the first place. Now you've poured more water on the floor. Um, so we we're on the same page. We want the floor to be dry. Is there anything we can do about that? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying that the floor was... Okay, okay. Let me clear... I feel like there's a little confusion around the topic here. Let me go ahead and clear the confusion up for you. Uh, what we did was we poured some water on the floor and made the floor wet. Okay? So now it's not dry anymore. There's there's water on the floor. We poured it there. Um, now what we've done is we've poured more water on the floor. More wet. There's more... The more wet is the thing that I still get commented in my videos sometimes <laughs> people really like the more, more wet, wet thing now. do you, do you understand what we're saying i think i understand the full scope of what you're saying what i'm saying is the problem is the wet floor that is the problem and you poured more water on it so uh, i think there's a disconnect maybe you're not understanding what what i'm saying the issue is the issue is literally the wet floor and you poured the water on the floor uh and then you poured more water on the floor you made the problem worse we want the floor to be all the way dry and you're you're just you're doing the total opposite of the thing that needs to happen right i'm not really sure what you're not understanding here see we had a bucket of water <laughs> and we poured it wet floor mm -hmm. right and then some people didn't like that I think I think almost nobody, but okay. Right. So what we did was we took that bucket and we filled it back up with water and we dumped it on the floor again. So are you telling me that the floor just stays wet? <laughs> yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Very simple little little wow. video to do. It, 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 it Hi, hit. Ninja. It's nice and to meet you. I wanted to that's weird. That's just how it goes sometimes, man. It's sometimes it's you know, I'll I'll spend days working on a video and editing and, and putting so much work into it and it'll do a standard amount of views that I, I think it's going to be a big hit. And then I'll do something like that, that literally the idea came to me and I was like, let me make this video real quick. And I would record my line and I would record my line and I would record my line. I chopped out the dead air, uploaded it and was like, all right, good. We got a video. We got to skid up today. And yeah, that when it was a hit, people loved it. Uh, not a hit in the way that the views blew up, but as far as the people that watched it, engaging with it and liking it. And it continuing to be a meme. It's still a meme in my uh, <clears throat> in my community. It's so silly. This is the exclusive interview with Ninja about being put in raid. I I was really happy with this one. I think I did this one really well. I think I executed this one pretty well. This was one of those that I had the idea in my head, and I was like, I hope I can do this the way that I have it in my head. And I really think I did. I think it. I think Hi, it, Ninja. I, it's nice to meet you. I feel like you. I remember it going well. So let's I see. I want to thank you for taking the time to do this. <clears throat> I want to just jump right into it with you. I want to ask why Raid Shadow Legends? What it is it? What is it about Raid Shadow Legends that interests you? Why are they putting you in the game? How did this all come about? Um, so I've always been a huge fan of like of, of anime and, and and those types of shows. And also, it mainly stems from. Uh, back in the day in Halo, when like someone was chasing you and you went around a corner and you jumped over their head and back smacked them, it was called like, like uh, the ninja or you ninja them, and I, was, I I loved it and I was like this needs to be, you know this needs to be my gamer tag. Okay, uh, I think what I'm asking you specifically what it is about Raid Shadow Legends, uh, like how did this collaboration come about? My dream was that this would do well enough because because of Ninja's name, I thought maybe it's possible this will. Uh, this will branch out from the raid community a little bit. My dream was that he would see it. Um, <laughs> I don't think it happened. What interests you about it? Do you actually play the game? Uh, and if you do, how did you get into it? Especially when he was doing the raid streams, I thought like like maybe enough people will see this and go into a stream and mention it 
to the point that he'll have to watch it. Uh, but it, it didn't happen. Game. And I, I don't more, think I pushed anybody to do it. I just kind of hoped that's the way it would along go. Along the lines of kind of what I'm what I'm wondering here. Uh, my, my parents, uh, well, my dad. Your dad got you into Raid Shadow Legends? A lot. Okay, you're still not really answering the question, but that's okay. If it's a secret, if you can't tell me, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, we'll move on. What would you say is one of your favorite childhood memories? Like, was there a moment where something changed significantly for you or kind of developed you into this person now who's the top video game star on the planet? Was there any moment in your life that you felt a pivot or a shift? Right. I think when I just started smacking everyone in my neighborhood, like, really bad, and my brothers. Well, you, you mean like, like you were physically smacking kids in your neighborhood? Like, these guys are getting paid to play and stuff like that and winning tournaments, so. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, how does it feel to get your own character in this video game. This is probably the biggest mobile game in the world right now. There are probably some other honorable mentions, but Raid is definitely among the top mobile games in the world. How does it feel to have a character made in your likeness and put into the game? What, what does that feel like? I just kept putting the same clip in over and over. <laughs> I remember when I was editing that in, I was so tickled about it. I don't really like see myself as that. I think mm -hmm. that like seeing that that I'm not that right. it helps, right? I don't feel I don't feel that pressure. Mm -hmm. And also, my wife is is really great at, at always, yeah. you know, talking me down whenever I'm I'm like worried about losing subs sure. or we're not gonna be able to stream this. And uh, she always just keeps mm -hmm. me focused. And <laughs> and we've actually, you know, recently partnered with Rebel and and all a lot of these events yeah. that we are mm -hmm. doing when we're traveling, mm -hmm. they're being very amazing. Sure. Like putting a, a stream setup while I'm there, even if it's for just a couple right. of hours. I think showing to the, your, you know, my viewers and subs and stuff like that, that I'm trying to get as much content out there as possible mm -hmm. while traveling, you know, hopefully is worth something. I'm gonna be honest with you for a second, Ninja. I have no idea what you're talking about. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! Hey everyone. Pretty good. We're here to talk Pretty about fun. some exciting new features. I, uh, I know I edited that to make Ninja look goofy, but I do like Ninja. I'm, I'm a fan of Ninja, just, just so that's clear. Um, all right, this one's called Even Playroom's voiceover guy is over their bullshit. I don't remember this one. Hey everyone, we're here to talk about some exciting new features coming to Raid's clan system. Let's start off with the cornerstone of the whole system, clan levels. You can level up your clan by earning clan XP, and leveling up offers lots of benefits to everyone in the clan. Well, not everyone, but we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about those benefits more in a bit too, but believe me, they're good. Well... Good's, good's a strong word. I have to pat myself on the back here. I do their voiceover guy pretty good, I think. Um, they're <laughs> existing. Each clan starts from level 1 and can progress up to level 20. But, I mean, we're talking decades. <laughs> You'll see your clan's current <laughs> level in the clan info tab, along with the progress bar that shows you how much XP your clan needs to reach the next level. You can get clan XP by completing clan quests, earning clan achievements, and participating in CVC tournaments. You know, that other amazing block of content we just dropped. Guys, I can't do this anymore. I feel sad. This makes me sad. <laughs> you guys know you didn't even put enough quests in the game for everybody in the clan to participate That's yet? That's right. And it's going to take them years to level up to a point where their whole clan can Wow. Play. Why would you do that? Why would you do that for real? Seems like basic math. God. And who the fuck designed Candle Guard? Seriously. <laughs> who did that? <laughs> this is where we're entering our, our candle era. Beyond that, that we're still all in. The candles in the game, period. Why? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Raid Candle Legends. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Yeah, we're in our candle era here. This is a This is a video I made. I built this team. I spent resources and built this team just for this video. The the dedication. Who else who else you know out here? Sacrificing this much for a for the candle meme and raid, unprecedented. <laughs> the the commitment to the bit, dude.
Yeah. Candle shit. To waste three keys and time and resources. There you go. 7.2 million for candle guard. This one was, uh, this one was a fun one. So you remember murdering did the interview with Plarium with uh, Cirilla and Banana. And I did a I did a video called Everything You Need to Know About the Murder Inc. Plarium Interview in less than 60 seconds. Murder Inc.'s editor is uh, so good, by the way. Some of the best produced content, I think. What's up, you guys? In like the, I'm the and today you know raid I'm going to be asking slash other game space that he makes content. Will for. the game be getting better anytime soon? No. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. That's it. Goodbye. Low effort, easy, stupid idea. The worst video. This is the worst raid Shadow Legends video on the internet. This is another one that created a a meme on my stream. And this is one of those things I think I think I've talked about this before. Sometimes I just have to like purge the weirdness. Some sometimes I just have to I have an idea like this and I have to do it. I have to get it out of my system. <laughs> this is one of those videos where I just had to get I had to do it. I had I had to do it. And so what I did was I just everything I could think that could make a video bad. I did hear. And I I don't remember a lot of it. I but I remember I'll, I'll we'll talk about it when we get there. We'll talk about what became a meme in my stream. What's up you guys? Welcome to Braid. What's going on you guys? Welcome Raid. What's going on guys? Welcome Raid. Today we're going to be <laughs> The good the green screen not being lined up. Like just like I said, any idea that I had to make it bad. Thinking about I, clan boss. First things that the clan boss thing. That's a sound effect in my stream now, and somehow it became a meme that every time I go AFK, chat just spams that sound effect until I get back, uh, and it's to this day still a thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you. And I I made the video. But most of this, most of this stuff happened in editing. All the, all the extra effects and stuff, obviously, I just, I was like browsing the editing effects, stuff that I could drag onto the timeline. So I just really went overboard with it. About Raid is in the tavern, when you're ready to go oh, in and you're, and you're talking about building a champ and <laughs> you want to be efficient, right? Everybody wants to be efficient. Oh, so boss. you take someone like Hound Spawn and then you just feed them. Into, the, into themselves. I'm, like this. I'm feeding him three stars to level him up. And I probably didn't have to do that. But again, I recorded the video and my, and my head was, I'm teaching you how to be efficient. So the worst thing I can tell you to do is feed three star and four stars for experience. But then in editing, I, I dragged that over it. So I did that. And then it ended up being a waste anyway, because you don't really see that I'm doing it because of the way I edited it. So with the three stars, because the three stars give you more food. Honestly, even if you wanted to or you didn't want to, you could even just come in like this. I can't believe, by the way, we're 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 slightly over the ten percent like ratio on this video. <laughs> and it's even faster like this, okay? It's even faster like this. You gotta make sure you do the right champs though. You want to do the right champs like Shaman. Okay, and then once he's maxed out like he is now, you want his skills to go up. So he needs books. Did I do this for money. real? That did I feed they're the best. Did I give okay? him legendary books so for come real? In like this. You just want to come in and you want to fill up the, with the gold, with the red and gold books because they're the best. Did I do this for real or did I edit it? You want to go ahead and get, okay, next thing. I think first, I did it for real. Next things first is how you can farm on the nightmare side, okay? First things is next. And that's what we're talking about now. You're going to come in and farm in the nightmare side. So you see how these guys are all of the green, the green type. First things right? is next. The green grass type. And we, as we know, Anytime that you have a green type, if there's a red type, red type's the strong one. 
So you bring anyone in. Let's bring in the one that we just watch what he does when you come in here with the right affinity. He's already put up a debuff and everything is good. And now he's going to turn it around now. Okay, for this one, I want you to be able to see closely. So I bring it, I'm, I, I brought it up to the front uh, and so that you can see it better because this is very- This is one of the times too that I, I in editing, some, sometimes when I'm editing my videos, I get real tickled at myself. And this one, I remember being, I mean, just several times laughing to tears because of the editing I was doing in the moment. Just, just like I would find an effect and go, oh, this is so gross, like, like this grainy staticky thing i was like oh this is so great i remember thinking this was it was so funny to edit this video Very important and you need to understand this when you go into the arena I forgot we weren't talking about the arena out. we're That's talking about right. the doom tower go ahead and just put all your gems in here just upgrade every piece of this okay go through and do that to every single one upgrade them all this is the best way to use gems don't listen to people mm. who say buy energies and and other things and arenas you don't want to do that you want to come into the sparring pit and give all your gems every time you get them and that's the way that you play this game the best and secondly and lastly they sell you things in this game and you just can come in and then you can scroll through them like this and then they'll also give you free stuff and these are the packs this these are the these are the keys this is how you do it if you're wondering how it's how to do it you're going to want to come in here to do it. You'll just know how to do it when you're in here, okay? Go through them. Go through them. Look at them. And that's a Rage Shadow Legends video. Now it's a now it's every now everyone is and that's a Ray Shadow Legends video, you guys. <laughs> Everybody knows everything now. There's a little bit of that J Station energy in there, which if you're making a worst version of any kind of video, you need a little bit of J Station energy in there. Clan boss. Hit a subscribe. There you go. Like I said, sometimes it just I just gotta get that shit out of my system, man. And that was that was another one of those examples. All right, well, this last one we'll do in this video. Every raid player watching the dupe system announcement. What did I do here? Yeah, like a silent film, old school silent film vibe. My Deadpool suit. There's a lot of stuff in that video I missed, dude. I think this was also the beginning of me getting in really good shape. So we're probably gonna notice me getting quite a bit slimmer over these next several videos, which will be interesting to watch. I think this was because the dupe system video was pretty good. I remember everybody being very pessimistic, but then the dupe system was actually pretty good. I think I had my green screen filter on. You can see it trying to green screen out some stuff down here and then the green in my chair is black. I think I forgot to turn off my green screen. We're getting close to the first Larium gets a call. We'll we'll make it to that in the next video. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid stuff, man. Stupid stuff. Every time, at least once a video, it's got to get me, right? All right, that one's, this one's called Playroom Addresses the Players for the first time in over a year. And like I said, we'll, 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 this, this is where we'll start in the next episode. But yeah, this is a fun and, and, and interesting phase for us. Again, I still think the stuff that we covered in episode three is my best stuff up to this point. That, that string of videos that we covered in episode three of the series... 
is going to be, I think, hard to outdo. That was that was really good stuff. So I'm, I don't know. I'm excited to keep working through this playlist, though. But um, yeah, I'm glad you guys are still enjoying the series. I appreciate you guys engaging with it. And um, yeah, we'll 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 be back soon with another episode of this. Have a good one, guys.